November 18th, 2015, Front Street Shipyard. We're aboard the boat Barilda. It's a 126 foot fed ship that we're beginning a big refit on. We're going to be completely painting the exterior of the boat. Uh, we're doing a lot of work, as you can see, getting away on the interior with new cabins, uh, new arrangements, uh, adding a new owner's stateroom, uh, along with mechanical electrical upgrades throughout. So it's an exciting project for us. It's a big project. Uh, we're looking forward to them spending the winter with us and uh, having a new boat ready to launch in the spring and carry on with their voyages. So their concept is to do this re big refit in two phases, concentrating on the necessities right now and getting it livable the way they want it to be laid out, and then living with it for a couple of year, a year or so, and then coming back and finishing up whatever details they decide uh, are necessary at that time. I, well, she's, she's an old boat. Uh, fortunate for us, she's a fed ship, uh, so a classic boat, um, and has really, really solid bones. So we're really just trying to figure out what we can do in between the shipyard and the crew to bring her back to where the new owners would like to see her. So we take it back uh, back to the, to the bare bones, and obviously the first thing we want to make sure is that everything mechanically is sound. And so the first, uh, the first Tranche is getting everything done there, new generators, um, uh, new AC uh, equipment, etc. And uh, once we've got that done, then we'll start on some of the cosmetic work. And uh, some of that will be going simultaneously while the uh, mechanical work's being done. As you can see, we're taking off all the cap rails, the varnish is getting redone. Um, it's getting a full exterior paint job from the bottom of the hull all the way top. So everything you see on the outsides of the boat, all the white, is all getting redone. Um, they're changing some of the state rooms inside, uh, adding the master bedroom upstairs now, taking it from the lower part and bringing it up. Adding some new generators um, and then just a lot of structural, you know, fixing stuff around, making it work and, and functional for the new boat and the new owners. Well, I think that um, for Front Street, um, we pride ourselves on being a full-service um, boatyard. So we have our own in-house electronics department, um, engineering and mechanical, electrical, um, paint, paint department. We've got a really nice varnish crew here that um, does some stunning work as well. So I think it's all in all pretty well-rounded boat you had to get just about anything done that you want to have done. Initially obviously we want to uh, get all the work done here and we're, we're hoping that uh, in the spring that we'll be back in the water and I think initially we'll probably be in the, the Bahamas uh, Caribbean area but again one of the advantages of a boat like this is you can literally go anywhere in the world and so initially I think we'll be fairly close to home but uh, we do have plans uh, down the road to, to take it to further uh, further places. I look at it as a, as a team effort to produce the best product we can in the end, so uh, making sure that everybody um, gets along and, and does the work that um, has been put on the table for us is, is vitally important. Uh, good communication with the captain and the owners. Um, and keeping the project moving ahead? Well, it's as usual. Um, we've essentially set out our initial goal for the time period it's going to take, four to five months. Um, that being said, as we dig into new systems and old systems uh, and find issues, we'll just present that to the owners and say it will cost such and such and it may mean this much change in schedule. If they're okay with that, we'll proceed. If not, then we'll let it go to phase two. And we had a meeting with JB. I think we uh, we seem to be of like mind. Uh, they do a, a terrific job, and uh, the fact that we can put it in the shed for the winter, they can work all, all year round, and uh, we're, we're exciting, excited. It's early days, but I think we uh, we're very encouraged with what we're seeing so far.